Start by loosening the bolt on this idler pulley. I was able to remove the belt just by loosening this pulley, but you may need to unscrew the tensioner a bit if you're still having trouble. Remove the bolt holding on this AC line and pull the line free. Now remove the bolt holding on the other AC line. I used a long extension and came in from the top. Now I pushed up from the bottom to remove the other line. Remove the four mounting bolts holding the AC compressor to the engine block. The compressor is definitely not hanging by an electrical connector which you need to remove before removing all the mounting bolts. What I'm doing here is pouring the compressor oil into a cup and marking the cup with a paint pen. Now I'm pouring the oil out of the new compressor to confirm that it has the correct amount. Unfortunately, the new compressor in this shot was for a different year Nissan Sentra. I had to return it and get the correct compressor. I used the exact same method to check how much oil was in the correct compressor and it did not have enough oil from the parts store. That's why it's important to confirm you have the correct amount of oil in your new compressor. Here you see me mounting up the new compressor. I always loosely install every bolt before tightening any of them. Remember to reinstall your electrical connection on top. Reinstall both of your AC lines. This bolt adjusts the tension for your AC bolt. Your idler pulley should still be loose from earlier. Your 
you're going to use the adjustment bolt to tighten your belt until there's about an inch of play in the center of this belt run right here. After you adjust your belt, then you can retighten your idler pulley. Now you're ready to evac and recharge your AC system.